Hello everyone, this is Dr. Rafi Wald coming to you again. Hope everybody is doing well. Just a quick reminder, if you have any ideas that you'd like me to talk about, please send along those requests. I am happy to fulfill them. Uh, by request today, I am going to speak to you all a little bit about fibromyalgia. Uh, fibromyalgia is, relatively speaking, compared to a lot of other medical conditions, fairly poorly understood in terms of exactly what triggers it, exactly what is happening. Um, why it's happening and how to make it better for that matter. A lot of people think that there is a very strong correlation between psychological difficulties and fibromyalgia because fibromyalgia can at times be triggered by severe episodes of depression, um, traumatic events uh, like car accidents or other sorts of traumatic events. And also there is a strong correlation between fibromyalgia and depression but then again, as we've mentioned in the past, uh, chronic pain is a major predictor of depression, so that's not terribly surprising. The main symptom of fibromyalgia is pain, uh, pain tenderness in different parts of the body, um, and it can be difficult to treat, and people respond differently to different treatments. There are some medications that are used for a lot of other neurologic conditions that can have benefit for fibromyalgia, but uh, basically with fibromyalgia, you really want to sort of experiment. There's a lot of trial and error. Some people do well with self-care and with uh, relaxation. Some people do better with exercise and others need to play around um, and try different medications with their doctor uh, in order to get relief. Uh, I hope this information helps you all. Uh, I am looking forward to talking to you all soon. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.